Marvel's Spider-Man was a game that made you feel like Spider-Man. Spider-Man Miles Morales is a game that's all about making him feel like Spider-Man, which strikes me as an oxymoronic take. What else are you going to call yourself when you have all the same powers as the original Spider-Man, plus a few extras, fight all the same villains, and was trained by the OG Spider-Man who even admits you are cooler than he is? Perhaps Miles would have less of an imposter syndrome if he had a reason for wanting to be a superhero other than accidentally acquiring superpowers and knowing Spider-Man. I suppose this is the same problem every character who has a torch passed to them instead of lining it themselves must face. When the central theme of a character is him doubting himself about whether he deserves a role he's been given, I inevitably end up evaluating him by the same standards. And by the end of the game, I suppose my conclusion ended up somewhere in the territory of, I guess... Ultimately, a superhero is judged more by the quality of their villains he is contrasted against than his own actions, and by that measurement, Miles Morales is a big heaping dud, since he only faces off against Rhino, the Prowler, and finally the Tinkerer, who is now a young and attractive female instead of an elderly paraplegic. Therein lies a problem with alt versions of popular heroes. They often have to face down the same villains as their original counterpart did, villains created for the original hero to be juxtaposed next to, meaning they share similar or opposing themes that tie them together, that the new version has no history and no real contrast with, and without that high dynamic range story storytelling, everything ends up feeling a bit flat in relevance. I had a hard time figuring out what kind of game Spider-Man Miles Morales is. It's set after the events of the first game, so technically it's a sequel, but then it's only around half as long as that game. While using the same map, same combat system, same locations, and let's just throw same everything into that overly long list of comparisons. So it's more like a DLC with extra work thrown into it, and then priced at a whopping $10 less than a full price game. Hey, uh, you think you're gonna add that new Spider-Man too? The kid? Yeah. Maybe. Original's just my guy, you know? Is this what every single one of Marvel's diversity outreach heroes is all about? It wasn't too long ago that I played through Marvel's Avengers, which featured a young ethnic character in Kamala Khan who was also a big fan of superheroes that then acquired powers of her own and even borrowed the superhero name of a more established character and hung out with her idol, while they reminded her how cool she was at every opportunity. And I'll be damned if that isn't the setup for Miles as well. Professional moving company man was trying to lift this sofa from the side by himself where he had no leverage instead of the end. Every other prisoner being transported back to the raft is being moved by truck, except for Rhino who is suspended from a container dangling from a helicopter. The most dangerous prisoner they are transporting is moved with the most unsecured method. Rhino breaking free is all Miles' fault, but no one, not the authorities or Peter Parker, will blame him. This opening is doing a good job of showing that Jameson makes a good point about Spider-Man. He's a menace! Yeah, too soft. He's a low energy menace! That low energy line from JJ comes from someone, and we all know who. Does every single asshole character in fiction need to be transformed into Trump even when they share no actual similarities? The rest of the prisoners who escaped during the incident have already found themselves some rocket launchers, which were being carried by the police escort. Apparently, rocket launchers are standard issue for New York City police. Instead of seizing their good luck and escaping while the police and the two Spider-Men are busy dealing with Rhino, the inmates roll up and pick a fight with Spider-Man. I suppose Peter forgot how to fight Rhino since the last game. It should be pretty easy to jog his memory, since it's a straight-up copy of a Bane fight from the Arkham games. Instead, Peter gets his ass handed to him by a guy he beat while fighting Scorpion at the same time in the previous game. Miles is a bad case of developing a new superpower whenever he needs one in this game. Peter Parker has gone some 50 years without a single upgrade to his moveset, and that was fine since his original moveset was so good. Do you think that the city that suffered a brutal quarantine at the hands of a private military force would be so nonchalant about another private military force showing up in their city a year later? I wanted to thank you. Both of you. Taking down Rhino? Solo? When did Simon Krieger witness Miles fighting Rhino solo? He was not here for any of that. He rolled up after Miles had already defeated Rhino. But he's still dangerous. Nah, I will hold him for the police. Krieger says this but actually keeps Rhino for himself, and the police fail to notice that they never recaptured Rhino after he broke free from the convoy and went on a rampage. It boggles my mind that these two can keep their identities secret when they sit on top of a small building with their masks off eating pizza. This is New York City. There's going to be an equally tall building right across from you, and everyone has a cell phone camera. Peter Parker received a character model redesign, probably because in the first game he looked like a late 30-something instead of the early 20-something he was portraying. But they've overcorrected a bit too much. Standing beside Miles, who is supposed to be 17, I can't even see an age difference. Hey dude, I think you should check out Roxxon Plaza on your way home. I just walked by and I'm pretty sure someone's breaking in. You witnessed a break-in occurring in person and didn't think to call the cops? Even if your best friend is Spider-Man, there are times when the police should be the first option. Hi there, I'm Simon Krieger, and what you're standing next to is a new form reactor. Once activated, this reactor will supply enough energy to power all of Harlem. Now, I'm sure you're thinking, Simon, how is that possible? And the answer is new form. 
A questionable person or company inventing a new and unlimited energy source that ends up making people sick has become the standard superhero storyline, and I'm not exactly sure why. Tried and tested is just another way of saying trite and no room for improvement. That was a setup for Marvel's Avengers as well. And while we're comparing things, the previous Spider-Man game featured two different madmen working on things meant to help people that were then used for evil due to the side effects. Those two things being Dog Ox tentacles and Norman Osborn's genetically engineered virus. The Underground used programmable matter weapons. That's a cool enough idea, even if they did go with the tacky looking visual design imaginable for them. I just don't see how big gauntlets allow this guy to survive jumping out of a building several stories up and land with no problem. It's too cold to change out here. You changed into that suit out in the open earlier though. Nothing like the inspirational tale of a brand new hero and his love of Adidas brand shoes. Finn? Hey. Fixed your doorbell. <laughs> it's so good to see you. There's no better time to reconnect with old friends than when plotting grief-stricken revenge. Oh yeah, you guys won the middle school science fair at county, right? You made a... uh... Energy, energy converter? Every teenager in Marvel is just waiting to be awarded their Nobel Prize considering how many of them seem to be genius level scientists while still attending high school. Oh. Uh. The wiring in this building is such a mess. I'll check the circuit breaker. I'm surprised you had power in the building to begin with. Rhino caused a blackout earlier across Manhattan when he destroyed the Roxxon building. No way they got that back online within hours. Does your brother Rick still work for Roxxon? I don't know how anyone could work there after seeing your last campaign ad. You went for Simon Krieger's jugular. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like Simon Krieger's my real opponent. So your campaign is focused on taking on the guy who is promising cheap and limitless power to the whole city for the next few centuries? Good luck with that one. So I stayed up last night and designed an app for your new suit. Things got a crazy custom OS, nothing I've ever seen before. But that didn't stop you from building your own suite of development tools despite not having access to the source code and creating an app for it in just a few hours. Welcome to Friendly Neighborhood 1.0. It lets New Yorkers directly request your help and report crimes in progress. Nice UI. Thanks. Oh, look, someone just made a request. Genki just finished compiling this app, yet minutes later it's up on the App Store, and somehow managed to be approved by Apple and Google despite the app clearly violating the law by encouraging vigilantism. This Uber Spider-Man app has to be the dumbest concept in the game. Miles would end up trolled so hard by fake requests and people complaining that he didn't get to their task on time. And not to mention, anyone with a vendetta against Spider-Man would use it to set up an ambush. The first request on the Friendly Neighborhood app is for the subway train being out of service, which is not what I call a problem for Spider-Man. And the requester is Miles' uncle, who also happens to be the Prowler, who is probably the last person to be looking through the app store to find a superhero Uber to deal with it. Spider-Man just sent a subway train down the tracks with no conductor on board. Hold up, Miles. I kind of suspected when I saw the news yesterday. Watching your moves on those escape cons, juking guys left and right, could have sworn I was back at the park playing pickup with you and your dad. I would have figured hearing Miles' voice would have been the telltale evidence of his identity, but I guess basketball moves are just as good as fingerprints. Time capsule seen better days. You remember the combination? The Fibonacci sequence. This kid, Fibonacci's. Somebody call Minsa. Never thought I would use that sin again after the last child genius in a video game repeated the Fibonacci sequence in Metal Gear Solid 4. Apparently just knowing about the Fibonacci sequence is enough to show how smart a person is. Why only stick your science fair award in a time capsule? And why open it only three years later when barely anything about you or the world has changed? I mean, our energy converter was pretty fire. Truth. You think it's still on display at the Science Center? Something tells me it is, even though Science Centers normally don't keep student projects on display for years. Good luck, Miss Morales. Thank you, Tim. Look, Roxxon's really into the constant vigilance thing, huh? For real. Why is Roxxon providing the security for Miles' mom who is running on a campaign critical of Roxxon? Even now, Roxxon is transporting new form, its experimental fuel across the city. But they won't tell us the risk. Do you have any actual evidence of those claims? I mean, it ends up being the case, but that isn't public knowledge yet. This makes Miles' mom looks like she's campaigning against 5G. The Tinkerer and the Underground launch an attack on the Roxxon Plaza where Miles' mom was holding a political rally against Roxxon. This is supposed to be a distraction while they steal the new form shipment on the bridge, but no police arrive at either location, so it was ultimately unnecessary. Finn is the Tinkerer, the person who created all the programmable matter weapons for the Underground. It took the entire game for Peter and Dr. Octavius to get robotic tentacles working, but this 17-year-old high school girl managed to create nanotechnology that can turn into any number of weapons in just six months. He's destabilizing it. Miles' venom shock destables the new form in the truck and causes it to explode. 
But it doesn't do that to the canister Finn is holding onto. There has to be something other than bridges that can be destroyed in these superhero moments. How about a flooding underground car tunnel next time? I did this. My powers. I made it explode. Yes, but the game will resolve Miles of any fall later. He still even receives plenty of people requesting Spider-Man's help on the app. So even this failure has zero negative outcomes for him. Roxxon decide to make Spider-Man their enemy for no real reason after he stopped the underground from stealing all but one canister of new form. Spiders are already one of the more terrifying creatures in reality, with many biological features you could draw inspiration from for powers. Remind me which species of spider has the ability to bend light. Instead of using the knowledge of Finn's identity as the tinkerer to capture her, Miles decides to first understand why she's doing all this. This is the same girl that is responsible for his mother's broken arm and the destruction of the bridge. I think you can figure out why she's doing it after you grab her off the street to be sure she can't put anyone else in danger. Test upload. <coughs> Half my team is sick. But Krieger still want him in his new form. We need to do this tonight. New Form can make people near it sick, like Finn's brother Rick who created it for Roxxon. So just treat New Form like a nuclear reactor, place it behind shielding and don't let people near it when in operation. I'm not hearing any arguments about how it isn't a revolutionary power source that will change the world for the better. This seems like a simple engineering fix to me. You're sure they can't just make more of this stuff? No. No, as long as we take out the backup supply in Jersey too. But without me, they'll have no idea how New Form works. Project could be DOA. That is not how a company research project works. No company, especially a shady energy corporation, would set themselves up for failure if just one guy decides to leave the company or dies. Everything involved in New Form's creation would require documentation. I'll record us. Things go wrong, video uploads straight to the bugle. Things went wrong and Rick doesn't come back after the sabotage mission. But the upload of his evidence never happens because they brought the phone with their only copies of the evidence with them on the sabotage mission to Roxxon to record them destroying it, but Finn dropped it during her escape. I guess keeping a backup of it on your computer was just too difficult. Or maybe try releasing all the evidence to the media as your plan A instead of trying to destroy the new form yourselves. Let it be known that you can instantly charge a phone by zapping it with a taser. Industrial sabotage, Rick. Really? Krieger killed Rick for trying to sabotage New Form, but Rick is the only one who knows how to create New Form, and somehow got away with never detailing the process, which I still don't quite understand since New Form had to be produced somewhere, and a process for creating it established. But Krieger killed him anyway despite knowing that losing Rick might spell the end of New Form anyway. Miles uses his bioelectricity power to absorb the New Form and discharge it into the room, but more importantly he did this while holding onto Finn's phone with all the evidence on it, destroying it, though Miles avoided frying his own phone with his venom shock somehow. Since it still works fine after this and he can keep accepting side quests through the app. Let's go before more of them show up. Whoa, that was super cool cloaking tech. Miles is very impressed that the Prowler has cloaking tech, the same power that he recently gained and is used to by now. You take the left, I'll take the right. Prowler helps Miles beat up a room full of Roxxon security, but later Krieger won't know that he helped Spider-Man escape and shut down this facility. Wouldn't the Roxxon guards mention this betrayal once they came to? I like to picture Prowler using his grappling hook to get off the subway train, and then hanging there awkwardly in the tunnel after realizing he didn't plan his dramatic exit very well, since he has to go the other way on foot now. So, what's the plan now? Uncle Aaron thinks I should tell Finn I want to join the underground. Then I could take the new form so she doesn't use it for whatever. Whoa, like, lie to her face? Yeah. You could also just tail Finn or put a tracking device on her if lying to her makes you that uncomfortable. Went to your folks' old shop. Thought you might be there. Looked like there might have been some kind of fight just before I got there. I went inside, looked around. Found out about Rick. Nothing in the shop actually pointed to Rick being dead. That was on the phone Finn left behind in the Roxxon facility. I'm really sorry your mom got hurt at her rally. If that new Spider-Man hadn't shown up, everyone would have been fine. So you figure that Spider-Man is the reason Miles' mom was injured when you started the fight between Roxxon Security and the Underground at her political rally? Even if you're sorry she was injured, you still picked a target you knew personally that even invited you over for Christmas dinner. Maybe I could join your club? Crew? Team? Terrorist group? The one that attacked my mom's political rally? You're actually buying this? I'll show you how when we get to Fisk Tower. 
your setup in the Kingpin's office space? I was okay with the developers reusing the map of Manhattan from the first game, since that is Spider-Man's territory, but reusing the same interior locations is stretching reuse too far. The entrance to Fist's secret base is accessed by spinning the sword of the statue around, something not easily done if you're not Spider-Man. The hatch to the underground's hidden base in the theater is electrified, but I would assume when one of your powers is bioelectricity, your nervous system must be protecting itself from shocks generated by your own substantial electrical juice that 300 kilojoules shouldn't be an issue. Finn's pumping energy into the new form, making it unstable like my Venom did. Which exploded the bridge. So... what? Does she want to blow up the theater? <sighs> not the theater. Roxxon Plaza. It's not that difficult to blow up a building, or at least not so difficult that you need to steal a highly dangerous canister of experimental energy, then feed more energy into it so you can install it in Roxxon's generator in the plaza to blow the place up to stop them. Roxxon Plaza, where the reactor is located, is wide open to the public for some incredibly dumb reason. Anyone can access it. I think a truckload of fertilizer should be easy enough. Also, blowing up the reactor wouldn't stop them. That would be spun as an act of terrorism against them, and the place is definitely insured. I'm gonna do what you said. Tell her the truth? Yeah. As soon as I catch her. Tinkerer, I gotta tell you something. Slow down. Do you think I'm stupid? If you want to tell her who you are, then stop referring to Finn as a tinkerer and use her real name. That would get her attention and make her stop running. There went all the PlayStation 5 stock right into the water. You two on the roof! Freeze! Finn can do that disappearing in a split second trick despite her programmable matter weapons making tons of noise and emitting bright purple light whenever they're used. Here little project your dad and I started back in the day. A mixtape. Miles called you here for advice. Not to finish your old mixtape by running around the city sampling noise. I gotta see her. Try to talk her out of all this. In person? Where? Trinity Church. Tomorrow night. Why so interested? I can think of a few reasons why a mercenary hired by Roxxon might be interested in knowing where the girl leading an assault on the company might be tomorrow. Miles sleeps with his shoes on. To be fair, they are very expensive. And in a game where Miles spends most of his time in his spider suit, you have to place the sponsored shoes where you can. Finn beat the crap out of Miles the other night, and Miles beat the crap out of Rhino at the beginning of the game. So of course Rhino easily deals with the two of them at the church. Kinda knew she was gonna be a handful. I guess I was hoping that you and me would see eye to eye. He wasn't your enemy until your men got orders to attack him on the bridge after he tried to stop Finn from taking new form from you. Krieger can't remove Spider-Man's mask due to his bioelectricity, but Roxxon already developed anti-venom shock tech to counter him. Rhino used it to beat Miles at the church. Krieger can have Rhino or any one of his men remove the mask. Get her to tell us where my new form is. Yeah. Can't really open the plaza without it. Since you can't make any more new form, why does it even matter? You can only power on this one reactor and no others. Pushed into a corner, new power pulled out of ass to get out of it. I've seen things. New form making people sick. What you did to Rick Mason. If I went public. Yeah, but you won't. Here's the deal. You're a wanted thief. Plus all the jobs we've done together. <laughs> but you'd be in the cell right next to mine. Prowler has enough information to take Krieger down on word alone without any evidence to back it up. I could have sworn there was someone in this plot that was in a far stronger position when it came to evidence, but decided to sabotage New Form instead of going to the press or authorities. I wouldn't give Finn her programmable matter weapons back to her. She just finished telling you how she still plans to blow up the rocks on Plaza, and that you can't talk her out of it. Current New Form project data is on here. Toxicity reports, failed safety reviews, and Krieger's names on everything. And none of it is password protected. Commence standard Bane boss battle. You know, Krieger told me how your brother died. <laughs> Very amusing. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> he also told me it was your fault. Rhino is apparently willing to sacrifice himself to push Finn over the villain event horizon. Krieger updated the reactor. Tried to supercharge it to make his deadline. If Finn goes through with her plan... Oh my god. Why would Krieger supercharge a reactor to meet a deadline when the thing keeping him from hitting his deadline was the lack of a fuel source? How do you even supercharge a reactor that isn't powered on? Krieger even has a projected blast radius study of the reactor. If this is the data Krieger is looking at for regular use, why would he go through with turning his reactor into a bomb? Does Roxxon build all of its underground labs right next to New York City subways? This is the second time one has shared a wall with a subway tunnel that Spider-Man and a Pizzuto villain have exited by. 
Rhino's badgering got Finn so pissed off she goes full villain. She didn't get this upset when Krieger mocked her dead brother right to her face. Did Genki walk Spider-Man out of the subway and threw Harlem back to Miles' apartment without anyone noticing? So how is your son being a vigilante going to affect your campaign? And how would it influence you if you were elected to city council? Because that's a big issue that voters deserve to know about. Teo's gonna help us go door to door. Perfect. Let's get this evacuation started. In a world where it is a struggle to get people to wear a mask, I think making some social media posts and going door to door telling them to leave the city is going to make no headway. And if you had evidence of a terrorist attack about to destroy it, shouldn't the military be locking down Roxxon Plaza right now? The Prowler captures Spider-Man because they need to have a boss fight in this game that isn't Rhino. Insomniac is trying their best to replicate Naughty Dog's character moments well after those segments have gotten very old. Do you have tickets for the special exhibit? Oh, um, our project is on display. Didn't think we needed tickets. You do. Why wouldn't the two of them have access? It's their project on exhibit. Considering how much Octavius hated Norman Osborn for screwing him over in the past, would he really take time off to go to the Osborn Science Center to look at exhibits? Finn leaves the new form unguarded despite Miles knowing about the energy converter. And this is after last time where he almost took it from her. Where are the police and other emergency services, by the way? There was a war going on in Harlem and giant balls of light coming out of a reactor. That one Roxxon security guy with a gun was such a threat that the Prowler had to step in and save Spider-Man. He didn't even have the drop on Miles. Krieger changed his specs. You're not just gonna destroy Roxxon Plaza. You're gonna vaporize all of Harlem. I'm not gonna let you lie to me again! Finn is super irrational ever since Rhino mocked her and her dead brother. Krieger also mocked Rick right to her face. But for some reason, that didn't piss her off as much as the guy who had nothing to do with his death talking mad shit. Pretty good boss fight though. Roxxon Plaza is destroyed like Finn wanted, but the reactor is still going critical, and she is still intent on fighting Miles to keep him from stopping it, even though her goal is now accomplished. What gives? Don't make me kill you! You can't win! Why do you keep fighting? I'm Spider-Man. Miles Morales would make a great IGN reviewer. This shouldn't be happening. Who would have guessed blowing up a building in a crowded city would have repercussions? To stop the reactor from going critical and destroying Harlem, Miles absorbs all the power into himself, which would then be discharged moments later in an explosion that would destroy Harlem. So doing this doesn't really change the situation. Finn launches the two of them into the sky to release the energy safely there, killing Finn. And I think the fall back to Earth should kill Miles as well. But he gets right back up from this and web slings away. Luckily for Miles, the only people in Harlem who saw him without his mask are people he's done side quests for. Did you see his face? Harlem was almost destroyed and your first question is if anyone saw Spider-Man's face. Simon Krieger is in prison. Aaron Davis, aka Prowler, flipped on him and Roxxon. Newly elected councilwoman Rio Morales has not yet commented on her brother-in-law's status as a supervillain, or how it will affect her time in office. Harry Osborn in the Green Goblin tank is the same sequel bait the first game ended on, except the sequel it got didn't use it. So here it is again. At its core, Insomniac Games' adventure strives to make you feel like Spider-Man, 